Hey guys, Cute and Cuddly here with another mini tutorial. And this time we're going to be doing fluff or uh, tails. And the way we start that off is let's say we want to start with tails first. Let's say this is the back of the person. This is where the tail comes out. And Usually the way I do it is I draw a guide first of where I want the tail to go and it looks kind of like a pillow in some way in some ways or like a bag of sand or something like that and that's just a pretty much a guide of where I think the tail will go to add some weight especially if it's a large tail so let's say I want to do a really big tail on the ground is like right here so uh, what I would do is I would just draw it kind of going down and then if the ground's there it would kind of flatten out and then I would draw it going up a bit and you kind of like you draw the shape of it you don't worry about its fluff or whatever and if you want it to curl some more you would just add a bit of a curve there And then to add the fluff, I would just make a new layer on top of that, lower the opacity, and then I will zoom in so you guys can see. And depending on what kind of fluff or fur style you could do, it's kind of like, I guess, spikes, but laying them on softer or like, and with varied sizes. So instead of doing the that, you would just kind of curve each one slightly like that and you can do varied, uh, varied styles, you can do it like that or you can do the large you know fluffs or you can do it really thin depending on what you want to do with that so let's say we want to do it with the Usually I do it with the larger style for the tail. We'll do a new layer. And we just kind of follow the guide that we just drew. You know, and you do whatever you want, like whatever you think looks looks okay to you. And when you get to the the bottom of the tail, you kinda just lay it flat and you just kinda you know, do your thing there. On the butt here, and do whatever. And then of course, this is just a sketch. You would do it slower and much better than what I'm doing right now. But this is just a basic way of doing it. And I would just add fluff up at the top, some fluff here, some fluff here, and you would take off this layer, and you'd have a tail. Um, let's say you want to have a different type of tail. Let's say you want a shorter type of tail. Let's try, uh, we want to do maybe a husky tail. So what I would do first is because it is a bit of a, a defined shape, I would actually draw in where I think the, the spine of the tail will go. So like that, how it would curve. And then I would draw in the basic shape just to see how it would go, like that, and like that, like that, and you just kind of erase the spine just to see where you're going, and you just fix it however you want, and then you have the curved tail, and you would m lower the opacity on that, and you would I don't know if you can see that, but that's what the shape looks like right now. And then you just lower the opacity slightly, make a new layer on top, and you would... But I, What I do for husky tails is I start at the bottom, not the top, because it is really fluffy at the, at the, at the bottom of it, because it is curving. 
so you kind of just make the fluff go upwards and you know remember the soft spikes they kind of lay low they lay down flat or they lay low on the on the body of the tail and you just kind of do that and because it does have it is curving you add a little bit more fluff to it and you do you do whatever and then you just hide that and you have a tail you have a curved husky tail and of course you would go back and you would fix it, you'd add fluff where you need to add, you'd remove fluff where you don't need to, to have the fluff blah 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 and you got two taps of tails there alright so let's say you want a small tail like a bunny tail and that's the same same thing you just draw in the shape like that lower opacity because it is small, you just add, you make the fluff kind of just really small. You just do that, and you have a tail. The fluff on the body is a similar idea, but you already have like when you drew the body. What I usually do is I draw the body in first, and then I add the fluff. So, for example, if this is the body here, and I want to add fluff, I just use use the guide here and I just add fluff same thing as the tail little soft spikes or whatever go in wherever you want it to go you can, you can be messy about it because fur isn't isn't straight it isn't all unified it is it, it, it will curve everywhere it will move with the body it will curve it will, you know, do whatever, do its own thing. It is not a perfect, perfect uh, unit. So I hope that was helpful. And if you guys had any recommendations for other tutorials, leave them below or on my DNA or for Infinity, all at cute and cuddly. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And take care.